Here I am, lost again. <laughs> if Tara was here, she'd ask how the hell I can get lost in a place that basically has one road. Damn, I already miss San Francisco. And to wrap up this news report, we still have no information regarding Crystal Hugens, 23 years old, who disappeared one month ago while she was staying at Motel 9 in Sand Stove Creek. She was wearing a yellow windbreaker and carrying an urn containing her mother's ashes. If you see her, call. Aw, oh, now that's heartwarming news. Thanks, Death Valley. for five hours now. Yep, I'm doing it, Fog City. Cheating on you for the weekend. <sighs> no more cigarettes. Sorry, Nils. There's no place to hide. Oh, black coffee. Would I still look human without you? Look out, Las Vegas. Jade Lacroix is on her way. What's this? Another one of Tara's secret love letters? Aw, I'll keep that warm for later. It's too quiet without your constant meowing, Miss Silky Paws. I left in a hurry as always. But hey, you're used to it, aren't you, Tara? What the, what the fuck? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, breathe. Relax. Oh, it was just a, a panic attack or something. Oh, you need to pull over. Oh, anywhere. Quick. Oh. Oh, at last. Oh, my back. That thing back there on the road, oof. I don't even want to think about it. Crystal, still missing. She was in the neighborhood when she disappeared. Too tired to call anyone for the moment. I need to refocus. Sodas are bad. Coffee's the one and only beverage god. Coffee loves you with all its jittery heart. Crystal Huygens. This girl's face is everywhere since she disappeared. Her family must be actively searching for her. I hope she just found a better place to live. In a movie, a young genius would hack the Pentagon with this thing. Come visit our big nothing. The most amazing nothingness you'll ever visit. Oh, I love the desert. Nice. Oh, I should buy one of those for the apartment. Tara would love it. How nice to share your junk food remnants with the clients. Some people call that freedom. It comes in all different calibers. Ooh, you're the special room. Gee, wow, would you look at this? Folders. Shut up, you evil machine.
Smile, Jade. Damn, I hate these things. Paranoia makes me paranoid. Nice sound. So, what now? Hello? Hey. I'm gonna need your ID card. Man, this guy looks like he's waking up from a ten-year nap. <clears throat> How old is he? He looks like he's got a few lives under his belt. No ID card. Oh, my no ID room. card. I left it in the car. I hope. How's it going, Christine? I still don't like that nickname, huh? Deal with it, babe. Hey, King. How you doing, boy? Yeah, it's been a while. Any news about this book I'm supposed to be writing? Still not writing itself, is it? Shit. Oh, what's happening to me? My banker's asking that same question. Here you are, you fragile official proof of my existence. Okay. Now I hope he's not gonna stare at my picture for too long. Well. About time. Pretty sure he's from around here. Probably grew up in this land. Poor guy. <laughs> Still might make a good character for my book. Enjoy your stay. Some pretty interesting things to see around here. Huh. A missing persons ad. Crystal Huygens. Wow. It's the girl they talked about in the radio news. Is this guy a relative? Oh, of course. I forgot my ID card on the desk. Oh, you need to stop losing this thing, Jade. Ooh, love the yellow tape. Really livens up the space. You've done a great job with this place. What? Did I do something wrong? He's looking at me like I've done something wrong. Doesn't work. No matter how hard I try, it will still be the wrong key. You're mine now. Jade's sacred place, land of the nap. The sofa looks okay. Not sure about that painting, though. TV? Phone? Maybe I will survive this place after all.
Still hot out there. This desert is definitely one big majestic emptiness. Hey, bed. Can you make this day a distant memory? No more being tired, no more monsters. And uh, while you're at it, how about a few ideas for my book? <sighs> or some instant money in my bank account? Oh, I must be dreaming already. Hey, Tara, you're here. It's our room in San Francisco. It's late. One of your sleepless nights. I'm so sorry for you. I'd give you some hours of my sleep if I could, baby. I hate to see you pacing like an animal in a cage. I know how sad you get. Why can't I reach you? I wish I could touch you right now, warm you up, give you everything I got. San Francisco's still asleep outside. Going nuts or what? Man, I really need to clear my head. Let me talk. You don't know what you've stepped into. The motel where you're staying was built on lies. It's dangerous, like this whole region. Some folks know, but they keep letting people come here. People like you. Leave as fast as you can. We don't call it Death Valley for nothing. Well, that was, uh, interesting. Absolutely not spooky. Everything's fine. Looks like a live forecast of my brain. One of Tara's and my favorite albums. Found it in a store before leaving the city. Very good deal. Yeah, sometimes dads look pretty much like this. At least mine did. Stop staring at me. You know I'd like to, but you know I can't. Yeah, because these days when I write, I spend more time chewing my nails than typing, okay? Oh, and I thought I was a pro. Even six books later, writing scares me like I was a kid or something. Locked? D did I do that? Where's the key? stuff in there. Come on, Jade, you're supposed to have set this code. 
Okay, need to find it somehow. I have no idea what this means. Reminder, next time you leave yourself a reminder, remind yourself to be more explicit. Oh, I'm burning in here. I'll take any help I can get. Why did I leave? It was so stupid. Just me freaking out. What's that? 